If you drive I-70 to the mountains, you've likely dealt with bottlenecks on Floyd Hill. Traffic expert Jason Luber has some details now on plans to fix that area, Jason. Yeah, let me show you where Floyd Hill is to the west. Here's the problem. Floyd Hill is just here to the west before you get to Idaho Springs, and there are three lanes up here at the top, and then it quickly goes down to two lanes before you make that downhill run all the way down with that big downhill slope as well as the big curve on the bottom. And so that's the problem with Floyd Hill. And here's CDOT's preferred alternate plan. They want to raise up the highway on both sides, creating a viaduct, and that would add a third lane, a toll lane on that westbound side. As improvements, it will, it will include new structures. It will include capacity improvements. It will include wildlife crossings. It will include some multi, even some multimodal improvements on this section, on this really critical section of I-70. It's the it's gateway of the Rocky Mountains, if you will. And now CDOT wants to hear from you. You can learn more about this project and comment on their website. It's cotrip.org, C-O-T-R-I-P.org. But today is the last day for that public comment. All right, we looked into the cost of this. The project will cover a seven-mile stretch of I-70 from Floyd Hill through the Veterans Memorial Tunnels to Idaho Springs. That work will cost 600 to $700 million. CDOT has identified some of the money, so the project could start next year.